Hi, and welcome back to Let's Win XCOM Long War. I'm Fwop, and we have a UFO crash site. It is the third in a string of missions, a council and abduction, and this crash all popped up at exactly the same time. And so far, we've uh, done a pretty good job of knocking them out. We've only had one death. It was a private, and uh, oh, scared me. Thought I missed the mission there. Um, things are obviously really happening today. This will be a uh, three mission, one facility, single day, the 22nd of March. Um, wow. Yeah, XCOM is on top, on top of this. So, let's go ahead and go after this small scout UFO we shot down. We're taking the rest of our remaining soldiers because those guys are no joke. Um, and we're bringing some people to, uh, to level up. Personally, I want fast or high aim. I know, we keep killing off the fast high aim people. But slow and steady is not for... Where did this thing crash? Riparian. Light or moderate vegetation, so... Forest. Alright, you win. Also characters that are just gonna level up from the mission XP. Um, that would be Flores. She's at the top with 100 XP already. She will totally level up. They do not have to kill to reach their first level. They just have to go on two missions. And we'll take you. Her aim is low. Defense, movement, all pretty good. We'll go to the carbine. Give her an AP grenade and a flashbang. We're gonna want a lot of flashbangs because you never know who's gonna be up front and personal when assault rifle. Yeah, we'll take that. Grenade and a flashbang. Yeah, you never know who's gonna be close. Do I want this weapon? No. Will to survive will help me get close so I can use the shotgun. That means I'm gonna want to have a flashbang and we can ditch the laser sight for an AP. Gunner, this gunner has pretty good aim. We're gonna take the laser sight. Yep, all this stuff. We want the saw so we can keep moving, keep her with the rest of the squad. Um, and make sure we can, most importantly, adjust to the Outsider's position, because the Outsider will dodge out of suppression if it thinks it can make it, even if it can't. Um, here we have an AP grenade. This character isn't that fast. I'm gonna load him down with that. So we have less chance of getting the crap beat out of him. And here we have pretty high aim, good move. Um, ceramic plating so we can take five damage and let's put a laser sight on you all right looking good let's do it now as a crash we have, um, on the mission site, setting down. We have a good chance of encountering our target few site is near the German enemies. border the downed UFO is in a remote area outside a small town. We don't want to count on it, but maybe crash site. two pods, to sector pods. Uh, we have not seen many other enemies. We want to collect those sector pod bodies. Sectoids. Copy, big sky. Sector pods would be death. To attempt the breach. So, if we're not leading with a run and gun soldier, so here's the order I like to scout with. Um, if I ain't. I'm not sure where really fast rookie falls. Um, yeah, first I'll scout with a really fast rookie because I know I can just retreat them back to wherever they came from and uh, that's if no pods are active. Second, a run and gun character is optimal for scouting when no pods are active because they can still shift position and attack. With them, you want to pay more attention to terrain. We obviously do not have any of those. Um, Thirdly, I want to scout with people who have short-range weapons. They want to go first. 
Um, if enemies are active, lead with your scout. Lightning reflexes first. Um, or lead with people who will reveal more enemies um, on the last square of their action so they don't get overwatched. And... Oh yeah. So a character who can suppress yeah. something, Got something over here. goes a little bit higher than others. Alright, these drones. This is a great opportunity to deal with drones. Um, we don't have horrific chances to hit. Uh, let's see, our scout will not... Go ahead and move here. Aye, aye, Commander. Of course, drones cannot overwatch. Definitely taking this shot. It's a shame. Enemy is still alive. I would not mind suppressing, I guess. We got heavy cover here, that's good. This guy's got the aim to knock him out of the air. Let's try and kill this one. That's why we bring the car, uh, the assault rifle on him. Yep, just barely enough damage. Now it's a matter of who can get to good cover. We've got two here. Where can she move? Nowhere they couldn't be flanked. Looking at relative offenses. She's got the worst offense. Um, we aye move aye. up. We will probably just end up hunkering her. These guys both have assault rifles as well. Yeah, she's got a carbine. There's no chance for a one shot kill from her, really. Ooh. We might not hunker. Shot like that. If we go here, we won't be able to see the drone. Heading there now. Let's go ahead. We got three shots. <clears throat> well played, rookies. Well played. That means we got some Overwatch to spare. Plus, on a crashed UFO, eliminating a pod this early is great, especially one that can cause you to spend so many actions trying to kill it. So now that there are no active enemies. Okay. Heavy weapons are an excellent one to just move up and position yourself with, pace your position. We don't have any follow-up heavy weapons, so... Wow. By follow-up heavy weapons, I mean... Um, I meant to say, don't have a sniper backing us up, so we're not going to push forward too far. <clears throat> I consider heavy weapons to be... Rockets, LMGs, and snipers. They have powerful uh, damage ratios compared to other weapons. They are often long range and they have unwieldy aspects about them that require uh, care in maneuvering. Let's go ahead and reload as shotgun overwatch generally isn't that impressive when you can't even see people. Maybe it would work against cyber discs or chrysalids to have them like blind jump out after you. Alright, there's a meld close by. Let's see if we have to engage this pod. We will work towards it. Um, now when you know you're going to encounter someone, it may be best to position your heavy weapon after. Like, I'd like to go here, so I can move up here. Um, but then I might get flanked here depending on where these guys break to. So... Let us drop down with a private, see what she can see. Alright, that didn't tell us much, so we'll go with the safe option. Alright. 
Alright, so far so good. Moving to position. Since we know that pot is pretty much up there, um, I feel pretty safe about moving across the back. Somehow trigger aliens. Orders confirmed. Moving Sprint. on. Sprint. This character. To use my shotgun effectively, I really need to get up into this terrain, as this is the worst possible shotgun arena. Moving so out. we're gonna move down here. Seems nice and safe. Right here. Roger that. Scan. Don't get some. Come on. She does not have high accuracy. Who scored the kill? Oh, it was the female red shirt over on the left, the blonde one. Brunette, right? Yeah. All right. So I think we heard another meld up there. This is probably the one that we will go after. On my way. Let's move our infantry up to a good position. Solid Let's copy. take a peek with our scout. We can move to a very safe position, which is directly on his route to where he wants to be. Privates will follow in there. Step. Let's do this. <clears throat> so that we actually have some firepower up on this hill. Headed there now. Pop over. Better ambush space and see I can blue move there next turn. Overwatch, aye, aye. This character. Now. We'll go behind this light cover for now, closer to the rest of the squad, since nothing's active. <clears throat> no one will be shooting at us next turn. What was that? Alright, now the faster it... I think the more hurried that noise is, the closer the meld is to expiring. First thing we're gonna do, we can claim this tree here and here. She can't get any decent cover up there. Roger, tracking. So we're gonna tap the keg. It's been secured. <clears throat> because maybe she was gonna reveal things over here. In that case, going up here first, really bad idea. If I get out of his way, he'll actually be able to go further, aye, so aye. let's choose the safe spot. See, look. Heading to that location. Even though this is closer to the contact we heard, this is actually the safer spot, as here we could reveal... Uh, probably not. It also is more likely to be able to get an overwatch oh, shot. Up just yet. That's affirmative. <clears throat> we'll stay behind cover. Keep the route circuitous. I feel commander. Yet. This pod where you're hearing may not have Moving actually out. moved. She can pop up here so we can actually use her. If we keep hearing it in the same spot like this, and it hasn't run into us yet, chances are it's not actually a moving pod. Let's try On the move. and trigger it. Okay, so we are pretty safe it seems. Headed there now. I 
heard there's meld out here, guys. Anybody? Three meld per canister. Not totally blowing my mind. I'm on the move. This is a great position, especially for one of our high accuracy soldiers. Wherever these aliens oh, are. Watch. Should I circle around? Just the fact he got up there and managed to overwatch is pretty Head great. I healed, Commander. I'm on it. Oops, I really should have moved him up. Double move her right here, that's where I meant to move my infantry, but I guess privates oh, lead the way. Out. This one. Don't know, I'm torn. I don't want to split up too much. Alright, we'll go up here. I'm kind of afraid it's going to trigger the pod. You hear that? When you hear something and you don't hear anything at the same time, outsider. Let me lay that Zen wisdom on you. On it. What we've been hearing is the outsider. Alright, he came out. It's a little unfortunate, except that we're pretty well prepared. Okay, what I meant was, we are not the worst prepared people to trigger an outsider in the world. Now, what would really suck is if he has no height advantage, even up here. Oh, look, we can see its perks. Opportunist, bone marrow. I'm gonna move him up in case it's a trap. And the kind of trap I mean is want to flashbang him. Moving to position. But if there's a squad of sectoids right behind him, that sucks. Yeah, okay, we're going to flashbang him so he can't move far. Also, really screws up his aim. Mostly, we're doing it so that our really crappy cover on our gunner doesn't get blown by this dude. Because this is just bad cover. For one, with his full movement, he might be able to flank us by moving over here. Or he, uh, yeah, uh, maybe unlikely. For two, with his extremely high aim as an outsider, um, he might be able to shoot through our suppression and whack us. Which is, uh, yeah, we'd like to avoid that. We're gonna take pot shots because outsiders aren't invincible. Let us give the infantry a chance to knock his health down. Probably not kill. Okay, we've been quite lucky with the shots. Maybe this is it for the outsider. Um, come back next episode for Outsider Live or Die, round two. Alright. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Yep, regenerate three health. Ah, there's Meld. Don't rush after it. I'm pretty sure there's sectoids near it. Probably the only reason they're not here with us already is because they're there. Alright, so let's go for the kill. We've got plenty of rookies who would love to get a taste. Dead in the water here. We've got plenty of everyone who'd like to get a taste. Let's... Oh, infantry. Shot wide. Here we've got the flank or the grenade shot.
Let's to get to the flank. We did not trigger another pod. Welcome no to your promotion. Ninja, ninja step. Already there. Get the saw into position to support. It's dead for the mill. These guys are gone. Maybe they are the meld guardians. Oh, okay. That's definitely all the enemies on the map. Oh, they heard we. They heard we wanted meld. Well, we can't get to that meld anyway this turn. Fortunately for them, they have ways of making them die. This is not the appropriate fight for you. I'm on it, Commander. Oh no, did we just... Oh, we keep her... Oh, we just stopped her from blue moving back the way she should have. Most likely to give us some sort of advantage. These guys should just pull back. Nice. Pull back to heavy cover and reload there. Oh no! Oh, damn you! This quick. That was just obnoxious. Damn it. You know what a great I heard someone suggest a great mod for this game. And it was to freeze the game when you're aiming the area of effect weapons. Moving to position. Alright, she's gonna move up. So there's a lot of tactical readjustment going on because we totally missed our grenade, which would make us feel much safer. Make us be much safer. Oh, 
we're gonna offer a wee bit of rookie bait. Outsider well. Okay, that's good, that's good. Suppression does draw fire. That all you got? Do not flank our scout. Thank you, Will to survive. Thank you, Will to survive. Um That's what I have to say about that. We are still hallucinating, so unfortunately we're probably going to miss this meld, but hey, we didn't die. Um, and that's always a good time. Now, the alien tactics are getting a little questionable. We can pop a grenade. Can't quite flank from heavy cover. They wouldn't even notice. Solid copy. We will move. To a solid position. Rolling. Get the flank. We will tempt them to just use their turn because we're still quite busy down here. Hallucinating stuff. both of these guys this time. shame to say it because uh, once again Mel just tricked me into a terrible position yeah he was in a bad spot excellent that was the best shot we were possibly gonna get out of his turn oh it's okay we didn't take anything more than armor damage and that guy He's disoriented, so lightning reflexes will have a ball. Moving. If we even have to use it, the scout takes sweet vengeance. Out of the game. And all is right with the world. Yes, Commander. 
We're gonna use her for a flank. She has a full weapon. The scout will be there to assist. Let's do this. This guy is a true soldier. So he can reload instantaneously. A little bit of overwatch since the enemy is horrifically out of position. We're gonna steady our aim and overwatch and see how this turns out because they don't like to stand there when you steady your aim. This guy, yep. We'll make very poor life choices and wander into both of our overwatches. Not quite. Alright, it appears these are the two we have left. Solid copy. We can take our time, all the meld is gone. And the sectoids are dying. Oh, daddy boy. Let's take a shot. Got no ammo. Target still up. That's heavy cover. Let's try her first so she can get a flank. Right? Right. This one is a safer flank. Position. If it's a flank. Yes! Take him out. Use your crappy aim. Woo! Target down. <coughs> well played, rookies. Well played. We'll try and get a kill on this guy. On my way. Well, we'll save him. You got this. Now, you've got this. That chances are. Woo! Chances aren't that good, but hey. By the numbers. Does it freak you out a little bit that they have the glowing ET chest? <clears throat> so, um, I totally meant to, uh, my meld rush wasn't that bad. I really have a hard time. I see meld and overwatch are my weaknesses. And, uh, Excellent work, Commander. you guys probably, you were able to recover so much probably can tell I struggle with the addiction. Alright, we didn't even take damage past our armor, um, only thanks to Will to Survive, which uh, I put on my scout because I always get my scouts frickin' killed. Um, looks like our gunner leveled up. We have a new scout, sniper, weapons, and tactical, which is pretty good. Sectoids, lots of Illyrium, I mean, you know, good chunks of Illyrium, alloys, fragments, meld, and things to sell. Um, also remember panic reduction for assaulting UFOs, and of course you can uh, then research them for damage bonuses. There is cash. It is nine days to the council report. No, ten. Um, so, I'm gonna wait till it's... I'm <laughs> I think, I, engineers, I don't think they affect. Oh, I did want to check. France, I have 300 hours, that's still 10 days. Okay, that's plenty of time. I was, I'm worried that getting the engineers may reduce my build time for my buildings, but I don't think it does at all. No, no, it definitely doesn't. So, um. Contact detected. Flying low. Scout. Um, this guy has the best chance to take it out in one shot. Um, if we don't take it out, good chance someone could come in and kill our satellite. Would that be so bad? I'll build another satellite. Uplink. I could go for Asia and take Asia. Uh, two, three, four, 
five. Now I can hold Europe. And okay, so this one's most likely to kill it. Bangs out. Which will leave me with one interceptor. Since the scout stingrays are suboptimal, it'll take like four hits to kill. Okay, and three to bring it down. Yes. As okay. So UFOs go down. Yeah, that should have left it with. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly. I think UFOs go down sometime when they reach the last 25% of their health, somewhere in there. Um, it's obviously randomized, or they wouldn't explode sometimes and survive others. But uh... all right, we have another downed scout. Oh God. And of course, we have no one to send it on. Send on this. Um, we could send our new troops. Um, we got really low aim here. High aim. Here's an infantry waiting to happen. Here's a sniper. We could go ahead and send our noobs. Um, I guess we'll also send some really fresh people. And uh, the scout is just screaming for it. Maybe, all right, we'll send a gunner too. This one has the most fatigue on them. This one has the most health though, which means they'll be out the least. Send a good, let's send the aim gunner. All right, well, um, so, popping into the long haul. Satellites remain the same. There have been so many missions, there's not as much to talk about in the long haul because things are changing incredibly slowly. Um, there. Here, however. Let's see, what am I going to build? When I build my fission generator. Oh, is it time? Is it time? <laughs> it's not time yet. The council report is still 10 days away. So, um, when I build my fission generator, I get 8 power, and containment costs 10, and 10 alloys, oh rough, foundry costs 6, officer training costs 1, um, and access lift cost 1. Okay, so that's probably what I'm going to build. The 1 power will let me build the access lift, the foundry and the officer training school with my eight power. Um, I don't think I have any sick foundry projects yet, but we wanna get it built. Um, the officer training school, I really wanna get built. And the, let's see, 200, 400, 500 for the drill down. We get paid 257. Uh, we'll get paid before we can build any of those. Which means I'm going to order. I'm going to have to order an interceptor. still do all that and have a little cash left over. Uh, we'll probably not build the foundry and build two satellites and then an uplink. As we'll want to expand. Matter of fact, we'll make the uplink and the satellites a priority. We won't be able to finish them next month, so maybe that's not actually. 
All right, guys. Well, um, obviously, I'm not going to be able to expand. I'm not going to be able to launch two more satellites uh, next month as I've waited so long to build my next power source. But I'm kind of fine with that. I think. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe I shouldn't be. Um, should have paid more attention there. All right. I'm actually, executive decision, I feel ashamed about that. I should have tried to make sure I was going to get at least two more satellites up in the second month as well. And... Yeah, I think we'll... One of the scientists... Yeah, we're not going to take Asia. We're going for Europe. All right, guys, UFO crash next mission. Um, it's going to be great. We're going to exhaust a couple more people and um, send out some of our freshly upgraded troops, as well as some private first classes. And hopefully it goes as smoothly as this one just did. Um, I hope you like the video. And I will see you next time.